My name is Amy, and that's that's fine, Ariel. Um, anyway, my name is Amy, and my channel is called Crazy Empath Goddess. And I just wanted to talk about mental health. And first, I wanted to start by saying why my channel is called what it's called. So I've been called crazy my whole life. Like it was a bad thing. Like there was something wrong with me that needed fixing. And I actually take crazy as a compliment now. Because normal people, first of all, there's no such thing. There is no normal. And people that think they're normal, they're just trying to be exactly like everybody else. And who wants that? That's boring. So, crazy is a positive word. It is a compliment. Second word in my channel is empath. Well, a lot of empaths are called crazy because, well, we absorb all the emotions of others and we take it on as our own. So sometimes you might be really depressed or anxious and it's just because you're picking up on other people's energy. I mean, I bet there are a lot of people that are diagnosed with depression, anxiety, insomnia, just all kinds of a bipolar disorder, all kinds of psychological disorders. I know I was. Um, when they're actually empaths, uh, just absorbing the negativity of the world, of the people around them, the news, the environment, there's a lot that can get absorbed. But on the positive side, if you change your environment, then you can change how you feel. Like, be around people that are nice to you, that want the best for you, that are happy. Um, I'm not saying you have to be around happy people all the time. That's crazy. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm saying that your environment matters and it definitely impacts how you feel every day. Uh, your thoughts matter too. All of that, it matters a lot. And um, so sometimes changing your environment can help, but also sometimes you need medication and that's okay too. I am on medication for insomnia and uh, depression and anxiety. And so I feel like like that's okay. It's okay either way. Like maybe your medication is to be in nature. Maybe your therapy is to be around animals or to sing or draw or paint. There's just so many different types of therapy. And I want you to know that it's all good no matter I mean all of those are positive examples of ways you can channel your negative energy and the last part of my channel is called goddess because I believe it's a very empowering word I've um, had a goddess tribe that I joined a few years ago and that was where I found out that I'm an empath, which has just been life-changing information. And I feel like I need to share that with the world because I think a lot of people are going around thinking there's something wrong with them when there's nothing wrong with them. You're not too sensitive. You're just around assholes. You're not too emotional. You're just in touch with your feelings. You are brave. To wear your heart on your sleeve and the word goddess just reminds me of how we should be treated now I'm not saying we should be worshipped definitely not I'm just saying we deserve respect and we deserve to be around people that appreciate us and the word, I, I just feel like 
it's so empowering to think of myself as a goddess. So, women, try thinking about yourself as goddesses. You know, stop criticizing yourself. Stop <sighs> hating things about you. Like, one thing I've learned is I feel like I've really learned how to love myself. Like, I have trouble concentrating and I'm very forgetful. I definitely uh, have the whole ADHD thing going on. Um, but I'm okay with that because that also makes me creative and it makes me be able to connect with people on a different level. And I feel like that's our job, to connect with people on a deeper level. Um, I think for me, it all started when I was a kid. I was obsessed with Care Bears. And each bear had different qualities that I think parallel to all the different gifts that we have. And I've always felt like I, I want to just band together and just be like, Care Bear Stare! <clears throat> that was a horrible impression of the Care Bear Stare. But anyway, so for those of you who aren't familiar, there's evil in the world. Well, you know that. But uh, the Care Bears fight the evil in the world. Their positivity just literally beams out of them. And it defeats the evil. And I feel like we can do that. I feel like like life is this amazing gift that we've all been given and it's easy to take for granted but it's also it's an experience and I don't know I feel like I've spent a lot of time focused on a to-do list focused on things that I need to do and if I wasn't productive for a day, then I would feel like, kind of defeated, like, oh, I didn't get anything done. But life isn't a to-do list. It's an experience. And we're meant to wake up. We're meant to just live in the moment without worrying about the past or the future. So just, that's one thing I, am, I admire about children is they are in the moment and they speak their mind. There's no filter there. They just tell it like it is. So I feel like I have a lot of people that might relate to some of the things I'm talking about. Um, and I just wanted to see if there was an interest in, I don't know, learning about mental health, learning about being an empath and how you can change your life, how you can just make your journey something of purpose. Because I feel like that's my purpose. I feel like my purpose is to help other people find their purpose. Um, like, everyone has something special about them and they just need to find that. And they just need to find the confidence within themselves. Because the world will get you down. And if you listen to all the negative things, then you'll never be able to love yourself. But if you start believing that you are a goddess, that you're worthy, you start truly believing that you have a real purpose on this life, then your life changes. How you spend each day, it changes. And I just, I just want to say how amazing it feels to finally feel like I'm alive again. Like, I'm not all the negative things. I am so much more. I am, you know, at creative and 
oh, there's a lot of things I like to do, like writing and acting. But anyway, um, I also want to say that there's a lot of people out there struggling with suicidal thoughts, and it's very close to me because um, I've had close friends and family members both struggle with uh, suicidal thoughts. And I want you to know that it's okay. It's okay to be not okay. It's okay to feel overwhelmed. And it's okay to get help. And I mean, there's so many resources. There's so many support groups. And it's important not just for women, but for men too. Because I know a lot of times men are told to like, just buck up and be a man. And that's toxic. That is so toxic. Men need to understand that it's okay for them to show their feelings too. That it's important that they allow themselves to be vulnerable, to be honest with how they feel and who they are. And I just... I want to tell everyone I love you. <laughs> I know I probably don't know most people watching, but if you can hate someone without even knowing them, you can love someone too. Just imagine how much more peaceful the world would be, our lives would be, if we just stopped judging everyone and just started loving everyone, accepting everyone for who they are. Like, it doesn't matter your religious beliefs, your sexual orientation. It doesn't matter your political party. There's all of these things that are, like, the news tells us to, to, to divide us. So just be angry. And that's one reason I don't I don't watch the news. It's, um, it's too depressing and it's very <sighs> all-consuming. Um, I've always wanted to help people and then I would watch the news and be like, oh, there are all these people that I didn't help. I mean, I, I, I guess I kind of have a little bit of a Supergirl complex trying to save everyone. But one thing I have learned is you can't save people. You can help people learn how to save themselves. That we're all walking around with candles and sometimes our flame has just burned out. But we can be that flame. We can light the candle for others. We can spread love, generosity, hope. We can do all of those things. Like, you have that power. I think a lot of us don't realize how much power we have. I know I didn't. Um, so, I just... I just want to say I'm grateful. I'm grateful that you listened. And I hope that my message was helpful in some way to you and i am brand new to youtube so constructive criticism would be awesome but that'd be nice i know i need to probably just not look at the comments because there's probably going to be a lot of haters in there but that's the thing they're always going to be haters and so it's like you gotta do you and screw the haters they're just, they're just angry people that want to make everyone else angry too. So anyway, I, I think I'm going to end this for now. And just let me know what you think. Alright, this is Crazy Empath Goddess signing off.